So here we are dealing with airway obstruction in children. Airway obstruction is one of the main cause of cardiorespiratory arrest in children. The etiologies are multivariable. They range from infective causes such as abscesses, which are retropharyngeal abscess, bacterial tracheitis, croup, diphtheria, epiglottitis, and whooping cough. The allergic causes are anaphylaxis and angioedema. Obstructive causes could be due to a foreign body aspiration, burns, post tonsillectomy bleeds, vomiting, tongue in octanded babies. Remember, obstruction of the airway can give rise to the various sounds strider which is a high pitch sound and snoring which is a low pitch sound can indicate an upper airway obstruction V's contrary to the strider is an expiratory sound and indicates lower respiratory obstruction an obstruction of the airway can lead to various other symptoms and signs such as drooling of saliva you can observe tracheal tug accessory muscle use, a change in voice, the patient may be cyanosed and dyspneic, hypoxia may lead to altered mental state. Tripod position. This is an important concept as far as the exams are concerned. If you see there is a tripod that means there are three limbs. Whenever you see a tripod with strider think of two things in the exam. One is epiglottitis and the other is retropharyngeal abscess. These kids look very ill and very sick. They are having hoarse voice, drooling saliva and they will be sitting still and they will look in distress. There are various causes of upper airway obstruction leading to striders. The common one we have listed as the infective causes the other are allergic third is others which are obstructive like a foreign body most of the information will be available in the question stem from the history so reading the question stem with history in mind will be very important if a child is brought with respiratory distress and having a strider and was all right before the event onset and was playing with some toys might have had aspirated a foreign body a child looking really toxic and really sick with high grade temperature which has evolved in the last 24 hours could be due to epiglottitis or bacterial tracheitis a child looking very sick with drooling saliva and had some upper respiratory infection recently or a dental infection extending down to the pharynx may lead to retropharyngeal abscess Croup, on the contrary, is commonly seen in the age group between 6 months to 6 years and uh, there will be a history giving 1 to 3 days of cough coriza symptoms. The cough is classically described as barking cough. We shall see it in the coming slides. Let's move on to the SAQ. 13-month-old Adam is brought by his frightened mother with high-grade fever. It started nine hours ago and cough. So here in this question stem, I see the thing started within last 24 hours. My sh diagnosis have been narrowed down to epiglottitis, bacterial tracheitis, or retropharyngeal abscess. He is now very short of breath. You notice a tracheal tug and chest recessions while he is sitting on triage table. Mom said he is a very happy child normally and has been growing well. He had been fine until yesterday but is not eating anything and constantly spilling saliva from his mouth. They moved recently from Nigeria to the UK as her husband found a job here. What is the most likely cause of this presentation? So as we said, the event started within the last 24 hours. The point in history over here is they have recently moved from Nigeria to the UK. That means there is a high likelihood that this child may not have been immunized properly 
against certain bacteria which can prevent some symptoms such as epiglottitis which is caused by H. influenza. So what is the most likely cause of this presentation? It is epiglottitis. What intervention could have prevented this pathology? Immunizations against H. influenza type B. What is the next step of management? Next step of management is move the child to research and call the anesthetist because this child will certainly need intubation. Next SAQ, 18 month old Addy is brought by mom with history of cough and coriza since last two days. His temperature at triage is 38.4 degrees Celsius and he appears dry. While you examine him, he starts coughing which is heard in the media attached. Let's listen to the media over here. The media shows a classical barking kind of cough. So with two-day history and low-grade temperature, what is the most likely diagnosis? The diagnosis is croup. What do you see on x-ray of a chest? Basically we see nothing on the chest. What we look at is at the neck you might find a classical sign called steeple sign. We will talk about it in the next slide. What is the treatment in the ED? The treatment in the ED is reassurance, conservative management, control temperature and a single dose of oral dexamethasone 0.15 mg per kg body weight. What is the organism implicated? Parainfluenza virus. So here is what we were talking about the steeple sign. On the right is the shape of a steeple and on the left is the x-ray where the there is swelling just below the epiglottis and you see a classical steeple sign over here the other x-ray which we see here is of epiglottitis where we see a thumbprint sign this certainly looks like a thumb 